The Smiling Pope, Albino Luciani, Pope John Paul I, pontiff for only 34 days, is fondly remembered by this nickname. Born in 1912 to a poor family in Canale de Agordo, a tiny village in northern Italy, Albino Luciani felt the call to the priesthood at an early age. At the mere age of 11, thanks to the help of parish priest Father Filippo Carlo, Albino received the necessary formation to enter the minor seminary in Feltre. Having not yet reached the canonical age for the priesthood, he received a dispensation super defectum aetatis in 1935 to be ordained a priest. At the young age of 25, he was appointed to the post of vice-rector for the Gregorian Seminary in Belluno. At the same time, he was teaching at a high school, giving theology classes. In 1942, he went to Rome to earn his licentiate and then his doctorate in theology at the Pontifical Gregorian University. In 1947, he returned to Belluno. The bishop appointed him secretary of the diocesan synod, entrusting Father Abino Luciani with the responsibility for its organization. In December of 1958, soon after the election of Pope St. John XXIII, Don Albino Luciani was appointed Bishop of Vittorio Veneto and ordained to the episcopacy. The episcopal motto chosen by Luciani, which he would use even after his election as pontiff, was humilitas, humility, imprinted on the coat of arms together with three stars, symbols of faith, hope, and charity. Io credo che era un papa. I believe that he was a pope who had a great spiritual authenticity, a pope who put himself before God, and then, when he came before people with difficulties, before the dramas of life, he knew how to get to the heart because he used a simple, docile language of great human compassion. But above all, he was rich in the presence of God in his life, hence the choice of the word humility. Standing before God with one's own littleness, yet speaking with depth, with authenticity, speaking in some way on behalf of the Lord, as pastor of the church. During his episcopate, Bishop Luciani participated in all four sessions of the Second Vatican Council including a written intervention in favor of episcopal collegiality. In the 34 days of his pontificate, John Paul I gave form, gestures and words to what are the main features of the Second Vatican Council and which are very current, the search for peace that is in the very ministry of the Pope, because Christ is the Prince of Peace. It is in seeking ways for Christian unity, in praying together for peace, in seeking in the church a renewed missionary nature and its dialogue with the world and an interreligious dialogue, we can say that there are all the elements that were already present in the magisterium of a pope 50 years ago. December the 15th, 1969 marks the beginning of a new period for Bishop Luciani. Pope St. Paul VI announced his appointment to the Patriarchal See of Venice, and four years later, Paul also created him a cardinal. The richness of John Paul I is in his way of being, an understanding and sympathetic way of looking at the world, in this way of placing himself propter omnia, close to the source of the gospel and making himself a neighbor thus responding to the thirst for charity that the world needs. On August the 25th, 1978, Cardinal Luciani left Venice to travel to Rome for the conclave after the death of Pope Paul VI. After a very quick conclave that lasted just 26 hours, Cardinal Luciani ascended to the throne of Peter on August the 26th, 1978. And for the first time in church history, the newly elected decided to take the double name, John Paul I. In his brief pontificate, which lasted just 34 days, Pope Luciani promised to move the church forward along the paths indicated by the Second Vatican Council, service in ecclesial poverty, dialogue with the contemporary world, and the constant search for and promotion of peace.